What's up guys and welcome back to another episode with me Link to Kill a Play Nuts Guy B's map like a professional not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah guys, hopefully y'all enjoying the series. I'm having a fun time on the island. Actually I spent most of the day today on here if I wasn't working in my garage or walking around a block or helping my brother. I was playing this game and as you can see I added a new pawn. I don't know if this is deep enough for squid, maybe y'all can let me know. I think it is. Uh, I thought it was below Y70. But let me know in the comments down below what's the vanilla spawning rates for squid. Unless that's been disabled, because I still never had like a chicken or anything. So, weird. Uh, What else? What else? What else did I do? So, all the storage drawers, gone. That's right. They're all gone. I went ahead and made two more crafting grids, one for each section over there, and then one, the one we made last episode is here. Oh, here's all our storage drawers. Where could that ever be? So if we come down here, there they are. And I think it looks pretty cool. I think it, I like it. Maybe y'all can let me if know in the comments down below if y'all like it or not. Um, yeah, it's all good. And then below here, come down here we have a external storage with the priority up to 50 so anything that goes in the system they will go in those drawers first here's our storage drive that we ended last episode with and here's our big reactor that still is chilling because we're not using no power at all um i tried to make the wire running as clean as possible so it's run under the meet this platform here but then I have it coming up and then branching out because the beautiful thing about this refined storage, there's no channels. So we can just do whatever we need to do. And there we go. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, what else? What else? What else? I have also been grinding away on some stuffs. As you can see. Let's get all this. And I should have spots for most of this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Apparently, I do not have steel, and this Enderman is starting to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Come here, ugly. Come on, ugly. So oh, we're getting evaded by Enderman. Oh, I grabbed the wrong sword. No wonder. I was like, what is What is this? Is this magic? Well, we have extra will, so that's kinda cool. Alright. He's okay over there for now. But that leads me today. <laughs> Today we need to work on the storage drives to do that. We need to get into industrial foregoing. And to get into that, we need to do some Batania fusing. And I want to see if I can make infinite honey. Yeah, you heard me. Infinite honey. But the problem with that is I accidentally uh, lost one of the drawers into the void. So we don't have as many honeycombs as we used to. So we're looking here, we only have 38. <laughs> yeah, I kind of screwed the pooch on that one, but it's fine. We should be fine. So let's look into what we're going to need. So we're going to need a sol... So I am so confused. I think it's from Cyclic. Psych. I am having the problems today. So we're going to need um do 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 Is it from this mod? Yeah. This dude as you can see, it's not that expensive. It's actually pretty cheap. So we're going to need three of you. Um uh, do we need 
Which one do I need it in? I might need the melting one. Let's see. Yeah. So a block of honey, which is one bucket, plus a honeycomb equals five buckets. Okay, so that's the exchange rate, which is pretty awesome. Next, we're going to need two of you, a glass, another quartz. There we go. So what's going to happen is furnace. This dude's going to require power. So let's just run over here and get the proof of concept. You know how I like to do. Get a proof of concept going, and then we go from there. So we got the block of honey. Oh, we need the fluid pipes. And then I think we need to convert it into... Honey cubes with sticks. That sound about right? I think that sounds about right. And we have a bunch of sticks that we're not doing anything with. So I was right. We're going to need you. So we're going to need you too. Oh, I grabbed the dispenser. I'm a dumb dumb. And this technically should be infinite honey as long as we feed it sticks, which sticks is pretty cheap. All right, let's do do do. And remember, we're doing this because we actually need honey to make the storage drives, which is really weird that you need that, but I guess that's okay. So, nope. Um, yeah, let's do this into this. We shall input the sticks in here. And like I said, sticks are pretty easy to come by. I got a hopper. And I think the only other thing we're probably going to have problems is the honeycombs. Like I said, I dropped them into the void. But I did start up the Minecraft bees again, and we're getting honeycombs again. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's get the fluid ducts. They are the blue... Energy. Definitely going to need energy. Um, where are these things? Oh, maybe I don't have no fluid ducts. Energy cables. They look kind of squarish. All right, so we're gonna need to make some of those things, I guess. Because as far as I know, that's how you transfer liquids in this pack. But let's get this kind of set up. And we'll just figure that out in a little bit. All right, so we wanna put a hopper here. Kind of like this. Chuck sticks in there. Um, that's fine like that. You and you. I believe. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Now we just got to convert it back over to this. And I'm trying to remember how to make those fluid ducts. They were pretty easy, I want to say. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Redstone bounce. Oh, I got to remember to update the uh, immersive engineering pack. 
There's a new update, so if y'all playing it, make sure you update it if you haven't already. Um, can I just do this? Yes. Cool. And we're going to need this funky looking wrench. We're going to need these nougats. And there's our fluids. And then we go boop, 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 boop. This is the right wrench, right? Nope, this is the power wrench. That's on. I don't know why. I also died right there due to Endermen because they're jerks and they only attack you when you're not near the computer because they little bitches. All right, so we do that. Bloop. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> so now with just a few sticks in here. And a few honeycombs in here. We're getting a good exchange rate. Ooh. I, I gotta go put this one back in there. I didn't lock them. I did make the key, but I forgot to lock them. So I need to do that. But as you can see, it's it's pretty efficient. So we're getting one cube to five minus some honeycombs and some sticks that's not a bad exchange rate if you ask me so that's pretty much oh infinite honey right there and then that leads us to industrial foregoing industrial foregoing all right so this are going to require a good bit of effort um fluid extractor so we're gonna need to make this thing so let's just throw this over here okay um i want to say it wants us to make this thing and this thing and what are we trying to do with this we need the um the processing plant thing yes 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 the processing plant thing Laser drill will probably be pretty broken in this pack. Uh, fluid collector, fluid placer. Okay, there's so many machines in this this mod, and I always forget that there's this many. There's a Nether Star generator. That's freaking going to be amazing once we get those bees producing tons of these. Uh, all right, I am so confused. Is it this thing? Yeah, it's this thing. And then I want the fisher. Because I think that's the only other way we're going to get the... Uh... All right, so here's the things we're going to need. Luckily, they all use this pity machine frame. Pretty cheap to make some wood, some redstone, and some iron. So let's just grab all that. And we can finally test out our system. So we're going to make six. So we need 18 of these. And 18 logs. Okay. And let's try this thing out. So I think we need the living stone too. Um, we're going to need a wand. We're going to need living stone. All right, so oh, oh, right? Is that not it? Oh, it's four. Oh, ill. <laughs> oh, ill. Well, we're going to have to go over here and get some more wood. Um, so, we're going to go like this. Yep. And 
then we're just gonna grab the iron on here. Sounds good. And then we just go bop, boop. It's gonna require you. And this thing should craft pretty fast because we do have a upgraded uh, mana spreader down there. That's the elven one. So this shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And the next thing is pretty easy. Latex pocket. Okay, so that may be the next thing that's a little hard. Power optional. Okay. So cool, 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 cool. And we should be able to just right click on there with an empty hand and load up more things. I'm super freaking stoked. If we can get uh, making storage drives this episode, between episodes, I can make a couple storage drives so we can put all the stuff in the things and we don't have to constantly come over here and do this. And there we go, boom. All right, so we're going to need gold. Some pistons. Um, those are sticky pistons. I think they actually have to be regular pistons. Hmm. So here's my gold. Yeah, I don't have regular pistons. Do you have wood? Okay. So let's see. You're going to be yes. Yes. Neat. And then I guess give me four of these. Because I think that's what you usually use. Oh. Hmm. What is it like this? Let's go grab three more of those. And it says power optional, so I'm guessing you don't need um power for this thing. And if you don't need power, that's pretty awesome. We have any squids? We have a lot of fish, and it's all one type fish. I hope this doesn't cause my game to lag. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. All right, so let's do latex over here. All right, so this seems to be about the same as any other thing we've used in the past. It doesn't look like it's changed. Um. And it says latex uh, power optional. There you go. Okay. So I wonder if you give it power, it works faster. I think that was the case. I can't remember off the top of my head. That sounds about right. Um, so this will get us the latex. Okay. And I'll right click you. And then, let's see, what else? So we need the latex to get the latex processor. The dup dup yee. So these two. So if we do something like this, these are slowly gonna suck the life out of this piece of wood. Um, placer? Is there a placer? Um, one that doesn't require power would be best, but I guess there isn't the block placer in any direction. I believe these things require power. This would be the cheapest. I'm, I may end up just running power over there just because. Um, dispenser... A stone and a couple stone steps. Stone. Couple stone steps. I'm 
Let's go click this thing over here. Well, at least they're finally doing some automation around the place, right? Alright, so this should be the fourth fluid extractor thing. And then indesite. Why is that going to be indesite? Why do you hate me? <laughs> Block placer. Oh, maybe it's not a dispenser. Is it a dropper? It is a dropper. Ooh. Droppers and that look exactly the same. Let's get seven of you. Redstone. Oh, it needs andesite apparently. All right, so this you. And then you and you gives me the dropper places blocks and then we can remove this for a second okay and my question is do you require power you do not that is amazing always on sweet so that's automated, okay? And then we have the fluid ducts here, so we can just go boop, beep, bop, boop, beep. And then we can just go cluck, block, block, beak. And then we can go get this other block. Here. And that should be the last one in my inventory. So let me take a cut here, guys. Let me see if I can get all the latex. We need a bucket of it, I believe, for the next thing. Yep, we need a bucket. I think we only have like 150. So let me take a cut. Let me get this together. We'll come back and we will see how far we can go for the rest of this. So see y'all in a second. I have to cut. Oh, okay. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, I went ahead and made another one of these quantum tanks, which are freaking amazing. And y'all should definitely make them because they hold so much. This thing has been going since practically day one, and it's only 1% full. That's pretty good, I, I think. Um, it's not like these things are not working. They're still on and producing lava. So definitely make those if you can. But let's see if we can make you. What are we missing? A furnace. Excuse me. Let's remove you because we can't just click it back into the thing. There is our furnace. Okay. There we go. So latex processing unit. It's going to help us a lot to make this. There is a bee we can make, but I'm still on the fence about these bees. Some of them don't seem like they work. Um, I have to like kind of reset them every so often, which is kind of weird. But as you can see, we have the dry rubber. And this is pretty much a simple setup. And it's just every once in a blue moon, I will have to come over here and chuck some... Uh, some wood into the auto placer but other than that this thing is self-efficient as you can see we already made the one this thing is going to work over time sadly i don't think we're going to be able to make where is that click you off click you dissolution chamber because I think the thing that's going to take us the longest is making this. We're going to need nine of these. We're only up to two. So that's going to be a little slow. And this episode is running a little past what I want. So we may just have to come back next episode and continue our ways down to get the magical storages and stuffs. And, um,. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of paranoid. Like, I don't know if that's in my room or in the game, but I hear like footsteps. It's kind of creepy. 
AF. But yeah, guys, I will catch y'all in the next one. Stay frosty out there. Stay safe. And like always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think of the series and how I'm doing and all that beautiful stuff. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Until then, peace out.